Hey, what's up, everybody? I'll try not to make this too long, but it's kind of like a two-parter. I want to talk a little bit about this amp I just got uh, last week. This is the GKMB210, a 500-watt amp, small package. Um, it's, uh, it's really nice. I got that stand also for 20 bucks. So I can kind of elevate it and kick it back. And then I'm also going to talk about this guy. Um, I got my Squire Jazz Space neck on a Squire PJ body. The pickups are from a um, Ibanez TMB100 um, active base. And the preamp is a... Um, Tone Monster. Uh, I got volume, treble, bass, and pickup selector, balance, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I want y'all to kind of get an idea of what it sounds like right now. I got everything flat, and I got it on the front pickup. That's the uh, front pickup, both pickups. Okay, back pickup. Okay, now go back to the front pickup. Let's take the bass. And run it to the D10. And you heard that uh, boost come in. And then let's run it all the way. Now we we on the front pickup at the D ten. Let's go to both pickups. Okay, now bass all the way in back to the front pickup. You see how deep that amp is? You see how deep it is? That's a that's a F, y'all. see what pickup are we on what well, else the front pickup I'm sorry let's go to both pickups 
Now it just kind of evened out. Go back to the front pickup. Kind of harsh. Go to both pickups. And it just kind of gave you a nice, even sound. So let's go to the back pickup. seem to be complementing one another and it's 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 sounding good i'm really digging this tone monster preamp now i'll tell you right now i am an r dear guy i'm an r dear preamp guy but this tone monster is a really nice fit for this pj setup it, it i honestly i didn't expect much i'm gonna be honest with you this preamp cost me $45. I didn't expect much. I didn't. But it's giving me a whole lot more than what I expected. $45 preamp. The base, I bought the base for, I think it was $100. Um, they had a black pick guard. I took the pick guard off. I went on Amazon. I got this pick guard for $13. Uh, the pickups from this Ibanez, I bought the pickups. And the preamp off a guy for like 40 bucks. And I didn't like the, the preamp at all. This neck, I bought this neck brand new off of um, eBay. I bought a J neck and I bought a P neck. And I was going to put them on my Glary um, basis that I had, but I decided not to. So I like a jazz bass neck a little more than I like a precision neck, so that's why I put the J neck on here. This, 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 this combination is nice, and that's on the back pickup. So now, we're going to take... Uh, that was all the bass. So we're going to roll all the bass right back out. We're going to go back to the front pickup. Okay. And let's take the highs. Okay. And let's roll the highs into the D10. And this on the front pickup. Okay, that's on the front pickup. Let's roll it to both pickups. And now to the back pickup. Real burpy. Now, uh, 
let's go back to the front. Let's roll it all the way in. That's on the front pickup. <laughs> Let's go to the middle. And it thin, you know, it thins out. It, it, it evens it out a little bit. Let's go to the back pickup. So now we're on the back pickup and where are we? Oh, we're all the way on. So now what we're going to do, I'm going to back everything off and I'm going to kind of put it where I like it. Now this is in the middle. I like to take the, uh, the lows. Well, I like to take first, I'll do the high and roll it into about 25 30%. Take the lows and run it into about the D tent. I got a call coming in, but I can't get it right now. That's a nice sound. Now I'll take the uh. Pickup selector, and I'm gonna right now it's in the middle. I'm gonna back it off toward the back pickup just a hair. Then I start adding a little bottom to beef it up a little bit. You hear that? Again, the, the, the treble is barely on. It's about at 20% maybe. It's not even, you know, at the detent. If I need a pop, I got plenty. But I can, I, I'm still not full bass. So... I mean, I'm just off the detent. I still got... Full bass, about 
detent, I mean, below, um, 30% on, and, and listen to all that pop. So I got plenty, and I mean, I'm barely, I'm not even at the D10. Let's go to the D10. It's at the D10. Not full. I never use none of that. Back it off. Yeah. That's my sound. That's my tone right there. That's my tone, y'all. And this thing almost sound like I got some mix. Everything on the amp now. Everything is straight up and down on the amp. Everything straight up and down. And this. It almost sounds like I got a mid control on the bass. It's like it's scooped. You don't lose nothing. It's like it's like there's compression. Every note is articulate. rundown on this combination dude i'm loving this bass this bass right here y'all i'm loving this rascal that tone monster preamp 45 dollars. and i know my man johnny lee long johnny we love you brother and um you put out some great videos we appreciate everything you do all the stuff you share um share with us the content the help the um, advice. Thank you, brother. Um, Johnny talks about these Tone Monster preamps and he talk about one of them like with a little black box and, you know, you can adjust whatever. This one don't have those adjustments and it sounds good. And again, I'm not knocking my idea because, boy, I love me some idea. Yes, sir. But I was just looking to not spend a lot of money and trying to create a solid base that I can gig with. And guess what? I'll be gigging with this one tonight, New Year's Eve, and I will have this at my rehearsal on Saturday for the band I play with. Because this bass and that amp, it, 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 it's a nice combination. Tonight, the amp I'll be using, I'll be using my Behringer tonight, but this little GK will be going with me to rehearsal on Saturday. So until the next time, I hope y'all, you know, I hope I put something out here that Kind of give you some ideas of what you can do, how you can create a bass. Um, you know, the thing about, you know, I love Squire anyway, because Squire gives you a great bass to just play, to gig or whatever. But it gives you a really good platform to create and build also. So um, I didn't have to go out and spend seven, eight, nine, a thousand dollars on a bass. I love Fender. The neck is great. This neck is excellent. It's maple with that Indian laurel fingerboard. Okay, great. Great. Uh, the body is alder. The pickups, like I said, they're Japanese, but they come out of an Ibanez. You got the same little bridge. Ain't no big deal on the bridge. People, oh, you got to have high mesh. You got it. No, you don't. No, you don't. I've been playing 43 years now. You ain't, you get a high mass bridge if you want to. But let me ask you something. All those sounds that, that Duck Dunn, all those songs that Duck Dunn and, and James Jamerson and, and, and Carol Kay and everybody who recorded all those songs throughout the 60s, 70s, wasn't no high mass bridges. How did they get by? You know, 
well, it, it, help, it helps with sustain. It helps. Okay, that's cool. Fine. But how much sustain does a basis need? You know, sometimes we get so far ahead of the game. You know, if someone gave you a 62 P base right now, you will take that thing and you'll take those pickups out of it and you will put some active pickups in it. I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't. So sometimes we could just get so far ahead of ourselves. You know, this preamp is active. You know, you don't see no battery compartment. That's because I had to route right between this pickup and this knob. I had to route the body out a little more. So I got the battery in there. But um, it's active. And um, I love it, man. It gives me everything I need. <laughs> Listen to this thing.